because I love my limbo. I have Claire with me. Hi. Tell us your background about how you got to be where you are today. I decided to do a PhD studying giant Brazilian ants. And that was great. Um, I got to go to Brazil and it was wonderful, but uh, I got to the end of my PhD and I decided that I would rather tell people about science than do it. Mm, I feel that. And here I am. What's your favorite topic in science? Science is broad. Well, that's a tough one, but I think we, we both share a mutual fascination with animal sex. So I brought my top 10 list of animals who have weird sex. Oh my god! But wait! 10! <laughs> I started with ants. Flying ant day, when, when all the ants go mad and everyone gets pissed off. That... Wait, what's flying ant day? What's flying You see it like it's a thing that everyone knows. When you go outside and you realise that the entire ground is covered in ants, with little with wings and they're all in your face and they're flying around. No, it's an ant orgy. <gasps> Is it really? So, so the, the the colonies produce new females and they go out into the world and they they want to mate. And the males have only one job and that's to have sex with as many female ants as they possibly can. They just have an awful lot of sex and then the males die and the females cut their wings off and go and live underground. And they use the same sperm from that mating for the rest of their lives. Number nine. I have traumatic insemination. Oh no. Traumatic insemination is basically when the male, instead of, you know, going for the the hole he's supposed to aim for, he just, just sticks it in wherever, in, in his side or in wherever he fancies, basically. Um, and the example I have of this is bed bugs. So they just, you know, insert their penis like a sword. How do they make sure the sperm gets to where the eggs are? To a certain extent, the females have evolved to cope with. The females, they just put up with it. It's okay, later in my list, I have some more feminist. Yeah! Also. So at number eight, I did a bit of Googling today. And there's something called a sea hare, which is this weird, blobby, gooey little thing. They're all hermaphrodites and they mate in a chain. And sometimes they make a circle. <laughs> so they just, any new new individual that comes along and wants to join in, just, just kind of tags along oh, the end. Oh, that's so cute! The anglerfish. Oh, I fucking love the anglerfish! It's in Finding Nemo, isn't it? Oh, with yeah. The, with the creepy lantern thing that, like... So the female anglerfish just sits there and waits, and then if a male finds her, he, he fuses... And the males are, like, what, like, ten times smaller than the female. They fuse onto her body. Over time, they're just... The rest of them just wastes away until they're just a sperm-pumping freckle. And number six, ducks, corkscrew, vagina. They can, like, control the muscles in their vagina. Duck males, they also developed a corkscrew penis. So the females, they just switched the direction. <laughs> and nowadays, that's where we are right now. It makes you wonder why they don't get stuck. It helps that duck penises, they are filled with lymph, like lymph fluid. Even though they're erect, they're very uh, malleable. Man-audible. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's got no genitalia. What about dogs? Do you know what's really great about dogs? A male will go on a female and then they'll tie so he will swell up and they can't let go and he'll turn and then they'll keep an eye out for predators. <laughs> predators, is there anyone gonna kill me? And um, yeah, that's why dogs are cool. What? At uh, number four, I have explosive ejaculation. So this is best known in bees. They have sex again, like ants, in this huge or crazy flying orgy thing. Flying orgy! It's a challenge, but the males are basically stimulated by anything, like even if you just stroke them, they'll... Yeah, it's like humans. Male bees have explosive ejaculation, so it, it kills them. Bees also leave um, a mating plug behind. And I knew that this was true in spiders and scorpions. I didn't know it happened in mammals. <gasps> it even happens in primates, mm -hmm. but mostly the monkeys, like squirrel monkeys and spider monkeys do it. I read a hypothesis that the reason males, human males, have so much ejaculate is just to like inundate the vagina. If a man has sex with his girlfriend, or anyone else, who he hasn't seen for a long time, oh my God, he produces more ejaculate than if he's had sex with her recently. Because the assumption is that while he's been away, she's mated with someone else and he's fluffing the system out. Dolphins prehensile retractable penis. It's not only retractable, but prehensile, which means they can like feel around and God knows what they're doing with it. Mm, oh uh, God, well, you don't female want to dolphins know. know what they're doing with it, but. <laughs> and male dolphins, <laughs> yeah, and seals. Well, yeah, um, again, I think dolphins are intelligent enough that they are a bit weird sexually. So at number two, the old classic, penis fencing flatworms. Penis fencing! Everybody loves them. This is my favourite. It's the Argonaut octopus. Their penis is an evolved arm that grows behind their eye. The penis breaks out of his face. 
and then swims of its own accord towards the female, suckers under her, and mates with her. And the male is obviously killed in the process. <laughs> I love biology! So if you liked Claire, because I like Claire, you should go look at her blog, www.curiousmeerkat.co.uk. Favourite animal sex fact, female bonobos have sex on average every two hours. They use it to <laughs> fight the patriarchy, and if you want to know more, you should go look at my science show off video. Just off of fruit flies, the males, their sperm, it's all coiled up inside their body, but if you unravel it, it's like twice their body size. How does the female take that? Bye! The romantic poets were like, oh, <gasps> here I am in the trees, there is shitloads of birds everywhere. <laughs> Whereas now they'd be like, I might have seen a bird. 